Hello everybody, uh, in this video we're going to talk about one very nice feature in uh, Microsoft Excel that I knew about lately um, and this uh, feature is related to data that uh, belong to geographical uh, locations like uh, what we have here a uh, table for uh, the crude oil reserve in 2021 for for different countries and it's it's uh, listing the um, the top 10 countries that have the most uh, or, the, or the most uh, uh, oil reserve in, in, in 2021. So the list starts with Venezuela, then Saudi Arabia, then Canada, Iran, Iraq, uh, Kuwait, uh, United Arab Emirates, Russia, Russia Libya, and Nigeria. So uh, sometimes these data are very important and it's important for such cases to have visual demonstrations for such uh, data. Um, and the visual demonstration can we can think of different things like first the, the well, like drawing a bar chart or doing uh, like uh, any any type of different charts that can show the countries on the x axis and the y axis is the numbers and we can see the numbers um, but this is not the best way in in this cases specifically it's not the best way to demonstrate uh, the the data graphically the way that is is more or is being used more than the 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 graphs the normal graphs is to put the data on maps uh, with color code so we have color that represents the maximum uh, amount and color that represents the minimum amount and there is uh, like a gradual change in the color from the small to the big and each each country is colored with the color that represents the amount of the oil in this country um, and I, I was surprised to find that Microsoft Excel can do this um, and uh, to do this we have to first uh, check the or, or uh, highlight all the data and we can find something here that's called maps and it says that use chart type to compare values and show category, categories across uh, geographical regions um, and uh, to to have a better understanding of how this map works it's it's gonna be in the list of recommended charts so we'll see uh, pie charts we'll see the bar charts we'll see, see column charts but this is what i am interested in today which is the filled map um, and it's, it's giving you the the uh, the same information that was said uh, before but it says it use use it when you have geographical regions in your data such as countries states counties and postal codes so uh, i'm gonna click ok and this is exactly what i was talking about now you can see that this is a map that shows everything uh, that we are interested in you see that this is the um, uh, the the code or the color code it tells you that the the dark blue is the maximum value which is the venezuela which is here and the minimum value is going to be grayish which is uh, it's going to be nigeria and libya which are there um, and you see the rest of the countries have different color because there are no data in in these um, in these countries um, and um, and the nice thing about it is that it, it it could recognize the countries by itself. So I didn't have to uh, do extra efforts to tell the map that, or the software that this country lies in this place. It automatically was able to recognize that. And and just to understand how it, it got this information, it's, it's said here, written in small uh, text, that it's powered by Bing. Bing is the the search engine for Microsoft, which is uh, or which corresponds to Google. Um, it's it's uh, I, I I have never seen anybody using Bing as the search engine. But any anyways, this is how uh, the information are got. So um, this is um, how the map can be uh, done. And you see, it's pretty pretty simple. You have to make sure that the spelling is right, of course, because if the spelling is not right, it's not gonna recognize this country. Um, and there are some options that we can do uh, that are related to the the formatting of the chart so we can see that here there are some uh, kind of chart styles so we have the default here and then there are other uh, things that have like the country borders are, are put in different color the the uh, the background color is different or the the legend is on the right not on the left so it gives you kind of some options that would uh, you can you can choose if you want to um, 
to go for any one of them and also it gives you some options regarding to the colors so you can choose different color uh, combinations um, like these or whatever color that you're interested in you can you can choose it and it's gonna put the colors for you um, here you can see something about the map projection um, and the projection is related to how the map is shown so we all know that the earth is um, is spherical um, of course we're not we're not considering the flat earthers because they think it's flat but but the science has proven that the earth is spherical so um, uh, the way we can spread this spherical shape into uh, a rectangular shape like what we have here will will do some changes especially in the countries on the borders or on the top and the bottom sides of the of the sphere so um so there are different ways you can see you can spread it in another way like this um, i i don't fully understand how this is done but this is i have read about this before but uh, it depends on how you can spread this spherical shape on uh, um, on uh, on a, a flat surface um, so I'm, uh, you can pick any one of them if you're interested, uh, depending on what you feel is better for you. I, I personally like this because this is what I'm used to since I was a little kid. So I, I believe this is, uh, is going to be the best fit for me. Um, there are some other things here, like for instance, in this case, the background color or the countries that do not have any values are put in um, in blue color and the countries that or the data that I have are put in blue color as well so you can choose to 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 pick another color um, uh, color format like this or you can change it manually from here uh, for instance I can make it uh, like bluish from one side and from the other side yellowish um, it's it's um, it's like a personal preference so uh, it depends on what you do. I don't understand or I don't know how we can change the 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 color of the countries that do not have data <clears throat> like this. Uh, I've changed I tried oh I think we can do it here. Oh this this is this is simple. Oh I didn't know that I can do this from here. Oh I'm glad that I, I knew that now. Anyway, so you can right click here and you can choose the fill color and of course you can oh you can choose the, the background color as well. So you can make the borders uh, I mean the border color, color uh, black or you can make it grayish uh, if you don't want to make it uh, very clear oh this this is nice so it's it's pretty simple uh, kind of piece of cake for me now um, okay so I can play with it later anyway so so now you can see that you can you can change any of the colors that you have here so that you can make manually or in this preset colors here so that you can make the the graph for you more observable or more easy to understand this is not only for um uh, for the the uh, like a case like this i you can make it for for bigger data so i have tried this for uh, like information I, I tried to merge two pieces of information that I learned in, in Excel lately which are the data types and the uh, the maps so here I, I put the country name and in the country name I, I chose or, or, or used it as a data type a geographical data type and I asked the software to search for the population the area and the and I calculated the population density as how many people per kilometer a square kilometer and I did it for like a very large um, uh, list of countries and you see that it's it's kind of working um, nicely and uh, and it's it's recognizing everything um, and you can do as many um, as many charts as you want uh, and it the, the nice thing here that is that you can um, uh, you can update the data uh, automatically so for for instance I have here like a very long list of countries um, I want to think of uh, like one other country uh, that I didn't put I have um, I've done almost everything but in case you have to add um, uh, a new country for instance I would add uh, um, a row here and I will put Finland for instance and it's gonna be automatically detected that it's it's the country that's called Finland and you can see that I have put the data and it should be here I, I think it's this 
no, it's uh, and maybe yeah. This is a fan. It was not there before. So this is the country that uh, it was that was added. So the the map updates itself automatically. Uh, one nice thing about this as well is that it's not only limited to countries. You can do this for like states or parts of the countries. Uh, uh, this is what it was said here that you can put it or use it for counties. You can use it for cities. You can use it for any anything like this. So we have here the um, the uh, list of the states uh, in the United States, and you can see that I have pulled the data of the area population and calculated the population density for all of them. And it's giving the same thing, the same color code, and everything is um, is, is done automatically. All are powered, powered by Bing. One thing that I want to highlight here, uh, because sometimes the maps are, are kind of misleading sometimes, uh, which is the way the map is, is, is uh, or the map projection. So you see here that this is the, the area. This is the list of the states by area and the uh, the first two are Alaska and Texas and Alaska is almost three times the uh, it's a little less than three times that it's it's almost three times the area of Texas uh, so Alaska this should be three times the area of this Alaska is is in the far north um, uh, of, of, of the of the uh, North American con continent so uh, the way it's projected here makes it look smaller. Um, and it, it was kind of surprising in the first time, but if, if you try to use another projection method, you could see that the ratio of the areas uh, kind of changes a little bit. So this, this is getting a little different, and here it's getting different. Still, it's not showing that this is larger, but it's not showing that it's uh, the, same, the same ratio if you're comparing this to this, for instance. I have tried to do this for uh, another countries. I did it for Egypt as well, and I found that it it recognizes all the governorates in Egypt. And you see, I have put the list because I'm Egyptian, so I know that this is what I know and what I understand. So these are the governorates in Egypt, and um, you see that it's it's recognizing each one of them the same for population area and area density and the population density, um, and it's it's kind of very very nice. There are still some like issues with the with the map because these governorates are not very narrow around the the Nile Valley they they extend to the Red Sea to the right so this this should be like this but these are the the information that they have may, may have maybe they have some some issues with the data they have but this is this is uh, what we can get out of the um, out of the maps in uh, in Microsoft Excel I, I find this very interesting and very uh, very time saving. You have like put a lot of data in a map. You draw the map. You put everything, and you haven't uh, spent a second to uh, to to define this place on the map. So this is this is very nice and very interesting. Um, so I hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next video, inshallah.